Fred, the hyper, squeaky individual that everybody knows and saw on the early years of the internet. He characterized what YouTube was for the early creators on the platform and everything that you expect from this platform. When YouTube was heavily skit-based, including people like Smosh, you saw Fred dominate, even accelerating to 1 million subscribers at the top of the tree early on in his career. Lucas was a teenager from Nebraska and used his own unique creative vision to invest and invent Fred Figglecorn, a character that would take the internet by storm. His high-pitched voice and quirky behavior often with fast-paced, hyperactive videos quickly grabbed the attention of millions on YouTube. From funny monologues to zany adventures, Fred's videos rapidly gained views, making him one of YouTube's top sensations. Fred's popularity even led to a deal with Nickelodeon, leading to a film, the first YouTubery film in existence. Three movies of Fred. Three. Could you imagine sitting through three of those as an adult with kids today? I barely get through Paw Patrol and Hey Dougie on repeat, let alone something squeaky and some weird dude running around. Fred became the symbol of everything internet culture in the early 2000s, inspiring countless memes and references. You know, back in the day when that weird face would pop up everywhere you ever looked and haunt your dreams. The brand of Fred not only brought fame, but financial success to Lucas with a net worth of over $5 million. As you can think, early success, early money. What's this going to do to the actor that is Fred Lucas? Despite the success, not everyone was a fan of Lucas and Fred. Some viewers found Fred's voice grating, leading to divisive opinions and negative comments. As content and creators emerged on YouTube, Fred's once novel style became to wane in popularity, overshadowed by fresh and innovative approaches. Basically, in the early 2000s, memes and skits were all the rage, but as people started leaning towards understanding that this YouTube thing can also be a real professional platform, you started to see the emergence of people like Philip DeFranco, Shay Carl, Epic Rap Battles of History, Rhett and Link, and many, many, many other vloggers, bloggers, and things like that. Yes, the YouTube platform was also flooded with family guy clips and things, but the skits, the comedy, was no longer the only reason to go to YouTube. Lucas began to post less and less on the platform, and the once vibrant channel slowly grew silent, leaving fans to wonder what happened. Some believe Lucas left to pursue acting, whilst others think he wanted privacy. And to be honest, his departure from the YouTube platform still remains a mystery. Many fans were left feeling nostalgic, whilst others continue to search for answers about Lucas's sudden disappearance. Despite the decline, Fred's videos still find an audience today, reflecting the timeless appeal of his unique comedy. Lucas's creativity paved way for future YouTubers, showing that original characters could achieve mainstream success. His final video was uploaded in 2012, and despite still having millions of subscribers, he's inactive. His TV show was cancelled due to low ratings. He's reached the ripe old age of 29 today. 29. And a millionaire. 